In our food series called Today's Main Course, we're taking you to the new Emeralds restaurant. And if you haven't been there in a while, it's a whole new concept. Actually, there are two restaurants there now, Emeralds and the wine bar at Emeralds, all being run by Emeralds 21-year-old son, EJ. And if you think he's just there because his dad is Emerald Lagasse, think again. EJ is an exceptionally talented chef in his own right who has helped take his dad's famous restaurant to a whole new level. When you look at Emerald's restaurant on Chapatulas from the outside, it looks just like it did when Emerald opened it back in 1990. But when you get inside, with the exception of the bar, it's Emerald's restaurant like you've never seen it before. And the Lagasse running it now is EJ Lagasse. I sat here in this restaurant with your dad 34 years ago <laughs> when he opened it, and now he's turned the reins over to you. Yeah. That's gotta be a big deal. It's fun, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we, literally yesterday was our 34th birthday, so um, it's, it's amazing. Um, but we're having a lot of fun now, and you know we're about seven months in since, since reopening. Just about everything in this restaurant is new. This is how most of us remember Emeralds. This is what it looks like today. You can still see the kitchen, which is beautiful, but it's all glassed in now. How different is this from the kitchen that I remember when I came to Emeralds right after COVID? Very different, very different. I mean, uh, it's it's, total, it's, you gutted it? Yeah, completely gutted it. It's organized a different way, so it used to run this way. Yeah. Now it runs this way. Emeralds now has a much more intimate feel with seating for about 15 or so guests. And there are only two options to choose from on the prefix menu. It's tantamount to a whole new restaurant. I definitely agree with you from- With the looks and everything yeah, like yeah, that. Sure. And, and what it is, it's now only prefix menus. Yeah, 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 you know, and I mean, for me, and, 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 and for my dad, I think the biggest thing for us, and we talk about it regularly, is we wanted to sort of have the semblance of, of, of what Emeralds, um, uh, where it would be now after 34 years, after just constantly trying to evolve. My dad had a conversation with me where he was like, you know, I think we've, we sort of maybe hit the brakes a little bit and we were just sort of doing what we were really, really good at. And some people would say that, you know, that's fantastic and just keep doing that. But my dad was always really hungry for wanting to change and wanting to be creative in a way and have another outlet for that. And so, um, you know, when it came time to do the renovation, that was the thing. We didn't want to take a stick of dynamite and throw it in the room and, yeah. and, and not let there be anything that somebody could walk in and go, I remember seeing that. Or, but, oh, that, look at that there, you know. But Emeralds has always been a, a high-end restaurant. Sure. It's gone beyond that now. Well, I, I, I think the ethos is still the same. Of, of being that high-end, you know, restaurant and, and being in a place like New Orleans and representing New Orleans, is, it's, it's always, it's the DNA of the restaurant. But I think that, um, you know, I mean, my dad opened it to be a, a white tablecloth fine dining restaurant. I think just the definition of a fine dining restaurant might have slightly changed since 1990. That may be an understatement, at least here. There are actually two restaurants in this iconic building. This side of Emeralds is the place where you really need to make a reservation. Then there's the other side called Emeralds Wine Bar. That's the fun thing, is, is that wine bar. I mean, I love, look, don't get me wrong. This is my baby, this side. I mean, it really is. Emeralds is my baby. But the wine bar at Emeralds is, is so fun because you know it's on the Julia Street entrance. We, for the first time in the 34 years of this restaurant, we have used that door. Um, and it's two separate restaurants. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fully. I mean, completely. It's all a la carte over there. It's stop in after you've had dinner somewhere else and have a glass of wine, or it's stop in at five o'clock when you've just gotten off of work and, and have a pâté en croûte and a, and a glass of Sancerre or something, and, and off you go. It's, it's, it's super approachable. I put an ice cream sundae on the menu. And the reason was because I like ice cream sundaes. There you like go. It, it's, there's no other reason other than that, you know. So, um, I, I, it's just it's a very exciting uh, sort of vibe over there, and, and you know the music's a bit fun. We do like kind of themed nights. I did ABBA night last Thursday, and, and just because you know sitting there eating an ice cream sundae and listening to ABBA could be quite fun. And if you think EJ, who just turned 21, is here only because of his dad. Well, that's just part of the story. Of course I'm in the position I'm in because of, of who my dad is and, and, and the wonderful opportunities that he's allowed me to have and, and, and see you know, elsewhere. You but know. I gotta tell you, you're earning it. I have a lot of chef friends who've come in here and they said, 
Emeralds has stepped it up a notch. Well, I, I, I appreciate that. I mean, and then they've raved about, about what you're doing here. Oh, thanks. Um, it's, it's humbling to hear that. I got to think you have made your dad as happy as a dad can be. I, I mean, I, I, I appreciate it. I, I think we're both pretty happy in the endeavors. So uh, it's, been, it's been fun. It's, a, it's always nice calling him and when he's here, obviously, and he's here a lot. Um, you know, there's always this like slight smirk on his face, which is which is fun. I think he's having a lot of fun, uh, just as I am. So it's great. And that last Aww. question I asked EJ. I, I mean, as a dad, I, I can only imagine how Emeralds. I've known Emerald for almost 40 years now. Wow. So, um, and I do remember when he started it. We all kind of thought he was crazy to go into the warehouse district. Nobody was there, mm -hmm. but boy, did he bring that up. Yeah. And he kicked it up a notch. And I love how they said, you know, they, they want you to be able to walk in and still feel like the old emeralds, yeah. but it's also what's what's the new modern take? What's, you know, his own spin on it? That's yeah. really cool. But it, it's a kitchen like I've it's never beautiful. seen. I've been in a lot of kitchens in this town. Yeah. It's just like, that was a gorgeous kitchen. I definitely want to go there, but I really want to go to the wine bar. Oh, yeah, that, well, he likes that, too. Uh, that looks and cool. by the way, just like, for, he just turned 21 just, to, just this, this month. Yeah, wow. and he's, he's worked in thing. restaurants all over the <laughs> yeah. world. He's, you know, yeah. apprenticed under his dad. It's just like, I like how you started amazing. that. You, you know, a lot of people would think that he just got this because of his dad, but clearly no. he's worked no, for he's it and still doing it. So, all right, Peyton. Eric.